Okay, so I'm going to talk briefly about ions and electrolytes. An ion is an atom that has either a positive charge or a negative charge. Now here on the screen I have drawn for you on the left side a sodium atom. A sodium atom that has no charge. So the one on the left side is not an ion. The um, atom here on the right side of the screen is an ion because it has a positive charge. So any, again, anything with either a negative charge or a positive charge, any atom with a positive, negative charge or a positive charge is an ion. Okay, so here we have, on the le I'm going to go back to the left side of the screen and look at the, the neutrally charged sodium atom. And inside this big red circle here, this big red circle rep represents the nucleus of the atom. And inside of it, these little positive, these little plus signs represent the 11 protons that are inside the nucleus. Now, orbiting the nucleus are 11 neutrons. So the 11 protons and the 11 electrons balance each other out. So there's no charge. Now over here, with the sodium ion, there are 11 protons inside the nucleus, but in this case, we are missing an electron. Um, and where the electron went, it, it was actually shared with a, another atom, the chloride atom. So this electrode came, came to join this one and made it, gave it an extra electron, and that gave it a negative charge. Okay, so we have here the sodium atom that has 11 protons that are positively charged, but only 10 electrons. So we end up with a charge of plus 1 and that is why it's written Na+. Okay, now that is the sodium ion. Now interestingly enough, if you take an ion and you put it in a cup of water or a beaker of water or what have you, if I take a whole bunch of sodium ions and I put them in water then they become electrolytes. So an electrolyte is an equals an ion dissolved in water.